yes, I think it is important to recognize that for the founding fathers of modern science, if we're looking um, in the English-speaking world, figures like Robert Boyle, Isaac Newton, and others, um, the practice of science was in many ways seen as a religious activity because one was learning more about the creator from the study of creation. And it's interesting that there was not at that time the modern understanding of what a scientist is. In fact, the word scientist itself was unknown in the 17th century. It's a 19th century uh, concept. So Isaac Newton, for example, would have understood his work as the study of what was called natural philosophy. And in the study of natural philosophy, religious issues, theological questions, and scientific ones were often very, very closely related. So for example, Isaac Newton is committed to the belief that there is a unity of all things in the universe, a unity of the forces that, that act. And for him, that is a theological as well as a scientific proposition because the universe is seen as the product of one mind. And even that phrase, the laws of nature, that I referred to a moment ago, even that phrase had direct theological connotation because you can't have laws without a legislator. Mm. And in the 17th century, that legislator was the divine creator. So in the 17th century, there is a very close interconnection. Um, I mean, the word fusion has sometimes been used to express that very intimate connection between um, doing science and thinking and reflecting theologically on the meaning of what one is doing. 